things to discuss in this excerpt. Uh, it's a little on the long side, but ultimately makes use of a lot of the same techniques. Um, just first off is just the dynamics. Uh, of course, do them. But uh, it seems like mezzo forte and forte uh, shouldn't seem that uh, big of a contrast. Um, but when you consider that the only other dynamic in here is piano, I think that piano should stand out greatly. Uh, absolutely as quiet as you can possibly make it. And because of that, make the difference between the mezzo forte and the forte much wider. So don't even think about starting this uh, mezzo forte, but rather something on the side of piano. Um, and the piano, virtually a pianissimo. Uh, I think the only other thing to mention about the dynamics, uh, measure 13 here. Uh, the mezzo forte and the crescendo underneath are very far away. I went ahead and marked that much closer up, uh, just because the way my brain works, uh, I felt like I would have missed that had I not marked it up. Um, Probably also worth mentioning at measure 9, uh, you are diminuendoing down uh, from forte. You are not going to diminuendo down to forte, but rather uh, get as soft as possible, and then 9 should be a surprise. Um, I would I accomplish that uh, almost by giving it an accent, more of a bite. It's not so aggressive. Uh, as you heard in the in the playing of it, but it's mostly uh, just a bigger bite right at the start of the note. Uh, don't try to sneak into that uh, whatsoever. Um, the next thing is, of course, the shifting. This one is constantly just going back and forth between first position and fourth. So if you practice your G major scale, you'll probably be fine. Um, but I'd just like to discuss the shift up to fourth position, uh, briefly. Um, anytime I do it, I'm going from four to one. I like to think of closing my hand up a little bit before going up so that the shift is all one fluid motion, uh, demonstrated here. You can see my arm is just moving up. Um, the alternative to that, I suppose I see this sometimes, is because you're not adjusting the fingers early, uh, it becomes the distance between E and A rather than something a little bit closer. Uh, I think that can make a huge difference in just making the shift much more graceful and so that it's not a jerk motion uh, to get up there as fast as possible. Uh, at best, you'll make it, but probably slap the side of the instrument, and at worst, uh, you'll overshoot it. Happens all the time. Um, on the way back down, that's another technique entirely. Um, although, I suppose the concept of bringing the fingers back early a little bit uh, is still there. But in this case, going back, I like to think of sliding back on my first finger. Uh, and with as little pressure as possible, don't take your finger off, uh, and tapping the fourth finger down. That one was better. Uh, because the alternative of digging in or putting the fourth finger down early uh, will generally give you a schmear. Um, both of those techniques that I mentioned, going up and going back down, um, while in a way they are two divided techniques, this one is closing the hand and then shifting up, uh, this one is shifting back and then tapping down, they need to happen as simultaneously as possible so that this shift up is just the first finger moving up and the shift down is just the tap is all you're focused on. Um, lastly, then, is uh, the harmonic and basically how you have to get out of it. I'm sure you're going to have no problem finding the harmonic, but you several times have to go from the harmonic back to uh, another note. Um, this, of course, it would be an instance where all the rules of shifting uh, 
kind of stop applying uh, because you're not actively shifting from this note to here. You're just finding this note from scratch. Uh, this is a technique that uh, hopefully you're developing. Of course, that takes time, um, but I recommend just practicing finding the note from nowhere and then finding a note from here. It won't be as daunting or challenging. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. So I hope this helped you out and hopefully see you in the next video.